is a very important IDE. If you use Android Studio, Visual C++ or IntelliJ for debugging before, but never use any Python IDE, PyCharm will be the best IDE for you to start. In this video, I'll show you how to install PyCharm in your Linux system. Also, I will show you some very useful function of PyCharm. Install PyCharm in Ubuntu above 16.04 is easy. All you will need is to type the command. One thing I would like to mention is that PyCharm has three different versions. PyCharm Community, PyCharm Educational, and PyCharm Professional. So in this video, we are going to install PyCharm Community. So we will put PyCharm-Community in the install command. If you want to install other different versions, you can just simply change the PyCharm-Community into a version you want, such as PyCharm dash professional or PyCharm dash educational. Also, the classic option is required because the PyCharm snap requires full access to the system, like a traditionally packaged application. So now just simply press enter and put your password of your computer and it's installing. The command to run PyCharm if you install it by snap is PyCharm dash the version you installed. In our case, I installed community version. So I will put PyCharm dash community. But if you are not sure which version you installed, you can simply try all three command pycharm dash community, pycharm dash educational, and pycharm dash professional. If you didn't install the version you typed in, a command not found error will jump out. But in some very specific case, such as you never installed pycharm in your computer before, um, one error might jump out, say, command not found for all three versions. And if you are pretty sure you already installed your PyCharm, please reboot your system on or reboot your computer and try to type the open command again. So now we put PyCharm-community and press enter and it's opening now. If you have used Visual, Visual Studio or Android Studio, once you open PyCharm, you will find the interface is pretty familiar. And yes, they have a lot of functions in common. For those who never used similar IDE before, I will briefly introduce some functions you are most likely to use during your Python project. To open an existing Python project, all you need to do is simply click file and open and you can look into the path you have to put in your project and press ok then your project will be open in the python any files that contains a python file can be opened and compiled in pycharm to create a new python project all you need to do is press a new project and it will give you the location and the environment you're using um, if you don't like them you can just modify them here and click create I would like to use the previous new Python project I create so I won't create a new 
project here. After open or create a new Python project, you will see a button on the left called Project. All you need to do is just click it, and you will see all file contains in your project. And to do configuration or debug, you will find a small window here. Now it has, now it has a configuration called main. But I want to remove it now so I can show you how to use it. All you need to do is add configuration, click it, and you can click either add new and new wrong configuration or this the top class sign and choose Python. Name your configuration. In my case, I will still call it main. Choose your script path. And press OK. If you have anything to input, put it in the parameters and press OK. Now you can click the play button or the debug button to run a code you want. For the play button, it will just show you um, how your project looks like if you just run it. And you can see this default project, it will output high PyCharm. In this small window here. You might be very curious about what this red dot is. So this is breakpoint. It's for debugging. If you want to test how your PyCharm or your Python project looks like, you can just add a small red dot here and click debug. Your project will autom automatically stop in this breadpoint you created. And in the window here, we can see the variable we have, and we can monitor how our variable change in the window over here, and even add, watch, and input the variable you want to monitor. If you want to continue to Debug your project. All you need to do is press F7 or F8, or maybe you can click Run. Debugging actions. You can see step over and step into. For step into, it will show you um, what function your project using and lead you into a function. For step over, it will just run your project line by line. Now we will press F8, F8 again, and we just finish to run our Python project. Now press here, you will see the information, hi PyCharm. Another most used function is a version control system because we already have a Git repository here, so I'm going to create a new empty project to show you how to use the version control system. You see um, this section here, it was Git, but for a project without Git repository, it's now VCS. All you need to do is click the VCS here, enable the version control integration, choose a tool you like, I prefer Git, and press OK. Now you have a local repository for your Python project. All you want to do is click the project window, select all files, and choose Git, add, now all your files are added in your local Git repository. With the Git repository, you can commit and push once you modify your code with comments. And you can put uh, what change you made in your comment. If you want to go back to the previous version of your project, you can either choose to re uh, revert it by git show git log and find your previous version or just right click 
the file you want to revert. Find the local history, show history, and now find the previous version you want, revert it. You will, you will find your file have been reverted into the previous version. Also, with the version control system, you can link your local repository to GitHub or GitLab. Then you can work with your team member remotely.